right now this version of the Corsair mouse software doesn't have volume controls. So if you want to have volume controls to the mouse, because it's easier to access when you're playing a game, uh, you, can just, you can just use your thumb to change the volume instead of pressing the function keys on your keyboard. Uh, you can first download Auto Hotkey. I will use this just to get the volume key press. You can uninstall it later if you want. So download that. I already have it downloaded. After you download it, uh, just install it. Run. If you don't know if you have a 64 or 34 bit system, just click Express Installation. Otherwise, you can go Custom. Next. Install. Okay. Uh, now that's done, open up Notepad. And I'll put this in the description. You can just copy and paste this into a notepad. Then click File, <clears throat> Save As, and save it as an, I don't know, just name whatever you want. I'll call it T1 and save it as an AHK file. So you have to save type as all files. Then save. So what this basically says is if you press Windows keys A, Windows key A, uh, it turns the volume up and pressing Windows key Z turns the volume down. Uh, so let's actually run this. Go to the folder where you saved it. Then run the script. So let's test it. If I press, it's 68 right now. If I press Control, I mean Windows Z, it should go down. Okay, it does. And if I press Windows A, it goes up. So now go back to your mouse software, uh, select which button you want to assign the volume up, and then go to the delay options and set ignore delays to record less key presses. Uh, now click MR for macro record, then select which button you want to put the volume up. It's probably best to assign it to the side buttons where either your pinky or thumb can reach it. Uh, now press Windows keys A and then press MR to stop the recording. Now you have to delete all of these things other than for the VKAF. So you have to right click to do this. You can't uh, press and delete on your keyboard don't work. Once you finish this you have to do this for the other button too for volume key down. So press MR, select the button, then Windows Z for this one. Stop the recording, and then we just have to delete. Oh shoot! Forgot to check, put the ignore delay on for this button. That's why we have so many key presses to delete. So I'll put the ignore delays. Try it again. MR. Select the button. Windows Z. Stop the recording. And then we have less stuff to delete. Okay, now you can press close to save your options. Did you do this right? Yeah, we did. Close. Now it's 66. If I press uh, the mouse buttons once, it goes up to 68. If I press the other mouse button down, it goes back to 66. So as you can see, uh, right now it goes only it only changes by 2%. So if you want to increase that, you can open up again your mouse software and then click whichever one you have, you have it assigned to and select the playback option for play n. And change the n to, let's say, if I change it to 2 and close it, if I, right now it is 66. So if, I, if I press the volume up key, it goes up to 70. So right now it's changing it by 4% because it's playing uh, that button twice. So you now if you set this to 3, it will change the volume up to 6% and so on. Uh, oh, if you have a keyboard that has media function keys, uh, you could have actually tried that instead of going through this to get the volume key presses, and that may have possibly worked for you and your keyboard, but it didn't work for my keyboard, so I had to resort to this. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you know of a better way of doing this, uh, let me know.